Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 with me Siwani here on Hout Bailaron. We are heading to the store to pick up a new piece of equipment or purchase a new piece of equipment for the next part of the task. The Massey Ferguson is over doing the rolling of the sorghum that the New Holland just seeded. Um, so rolling has commenced on field 43 and the brand new Massey Ferguson is um, assigned to that task. I'm going to do a quick repair while I'm here of my machine. And we're going to buy a big roller. Big roller. Mm. Change that to... I'm not going to bother having a license plate on that. That's 144 grand. Boy, we are spending money today. We're also making money today. Selling some cheese at the minute. Perfect timing from our pallet. From our truck. He made us a nice, healthy 60 odd thousand. So this is a proper soil roller. This is not a grass roller. And this is going to do the big Uber field that is currently having the soybean seeded on it. And the uh, soybean course is actually going quite well. The guy, the, the fence... I hate to say it, but the fence not made any um, mistakes yet. So I'm quite happy with his performance down there on that field. Right, so this wonderful bit of kit then. Uh, we can clear that course because we're going to be using a new one. Uh, we've got no offsets, good. Field position, we're going to want you to start roughly about here. Gonna get you to go counterclockwise again. No, we're not. We're gonna have you go clockwise this time. Uh, up and down angle. Uh, we're gonna have that set to zero. Uh, headland overlap 25. Number of headlands. We we're not gonna need to do that many. Uh, we're gonna set them at 22 and a half. So we're probably gonna only have three. Field margin is quite big on this. Uh, so we're going to go for two again. Sharp corners. We can generate the course. So he's going to start in this corner here. And he's going to go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And like I say, then he's going to do the headlands and he's going to do sharp corners, apart from where it goes a little bit bendy. And 
we'll see how this one works out, shall we? Uh, this is what, field 30? Field 30, 24 metre rolling. Okay, he's missed a corner. He's missed a bit in the corner. A little bit annoying when he does that. He's supposed to be making sharp turns, but doesn't always do it for some reason. It looks like he's doing round corners here instead of sharp. Right, we're going to need this fella. He's got the task now of doing fertilising. our lovely sorghum crop. So yeah, April, first day of April, we're going to have all our fields seeded. We're going to have all the tasks complete. And then it'll be a case of uh, having to wait then until <laughs> harvest time. No, I think that would be a bit, a bit too much to ask. <laughs> But yes, we're getting the solid fertilizer applied. Maximum yieldage. Our farm's looking pretty good, you have to say. Is it, is it me as well, or can we actually see more stuff now? Because like, I can see my John Deere harvester, I can see my, um, the view distance seems to be a lot further now in the game. I can see my spread bradle over there, and my stone picker, my stone picker upperer. Hmm, how long has it been doing that? How long's the view distance been like that? Uh, it's been massively increased. thing is this fertilizer spreader does not take very long to do the fertilizer spreading on these fields
and I've fertilised without the aid of GPS. <laughs> It's going to be rolling, rolling into me. Here we go then, fertilising nearly complete. I think there's a little bit to do back here still. Just on this cornery bit. That's it. We can double check. Turn off the mulching status. And turns off needs rolling. And yes, that field is done. I don't need to worry about the soybean field because that is fully fertilized already. So you can come back and park over here. Please don't disappear this time though. You know? All right. Field 36 has got weeds all over it. I'm going to have to go into field 36 with the weeder. Huh. So, 
Crossplay looks to have done a fairly decent job. Uh, we'll save that. Just need to do that little bit that he missed on one of the corners over here. Which was where? A bit further this way, apparently. I can see it. That spot there, for some reason, he did not like that. Right, we want the new Holland now. Off you go. You can start rolling. Uh, we'll bring this guy back to the farm. Uh, we're going to need the class to go out and do some weeding then. Because Phil 36 is covered in weeds. Is it going to work with the weeder, or am I going to have to use the hoe? Oh, I'm going to need a hoe. Not the good kind of hoe, either. We'll refill this with seed. got on a weeder. I'm not seeing a hoe anywhere. Let's have a look then. Uh, weeders, 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 weeders. Uh, there they are. I want that then, aren't I? Make it bright yellow. Right, Mr. Class. We're going to need you because you've got the crop friendly tyres. But I wasn't planning on having to do weeding. I guess we didn't plough that field. We only probably cultivated it.
Yeah, we're going to need to do this fairly quickly, I would say. Good, we're removing the weeds. Excellent. Mm. Who didn't finish the field? Well, the rolling's going well. You would have to say. With our new big roller. This roller doesn't lift, doesn't raise or lower, so the poor old tractor driver's just got to drag it round the field all the time. Poor tractor driver. Right, you need some fuel. Because you've done a lot. And probably the next thing you're going to be involved in is the mowing. Gazzoli. We'll have a quick drive down to the field, the grass field, because I'm going to explain what's going to happen down here. Um, okay, we're going to do the mowing, okay, that's, that's a given, okay, we're going to be doing some mowing, ladies and gents. Right, the next time we mow this field down here, after I have mowed it, and I've got all the grass picked up. I'm going to be doing some serious terraforming. Um, unfortunately, you have to ignore the floating rocks that are going to be left behind as a result of my terraforming. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a point down here. 
I'm going to pick the point sort of here. And I'm basically going to level. I'm going to level the ground. All the way over here. All the way around here. All the way around here. And I'm going to level it all the way around here too. I am going to flatten all this area out. So that that field is going to be flat. <laughs> I've already done a little bit of it, as you can see. I've done a little bit of work around the edges. So, however, the field edges get completely trashed when you start doing the um, the leveling and landscaping. So basically, I'm going to have to replow the whole field, reseed it all, and take care of all that kind of stuff. Um. I'm going to leave this bit here, obviously, because I'm not going to mess about with the train tracks. So I won't be levelling this anymore. So there will be a little bit of a, a hump just at this first bit of the field where you're coming from the train tracks. But everything else will be levelled. And now what that probably means is I should probably go around with my chainsaw and remove a few trees. In anticipation because otherwise what's going to happen is they're going to be floating and we don't like floating trees ladies and gents floating trees look rubbish as do buried trees it's just a shame I can't remove the rocks <laughs> there's no way so that there's like a rock floating over there which is a bit of a pity. Um, not a lot I can do about that, sadly. And I'll be able to, I'll be able, basically, I'll be able to expand that grass field then a little bit, make it a little bit bigger, which means we'll be able to get more, um, more, um, silage off of it. And silage, as we all know, is probably a good, probably one of the biggest income bringers in any save. Um... here and do a couple up here as well but yeah we're going to be um, doing some rejigging of the field around here uh, uh, I can't go any further up the mountain that way so just need to get rid of these floating trees over here. I think it's going to look good once it's done. Plus, what I'll probably do as well... Okay... We've got the silage machine over here for making silage, okay? What I'll probably also then put in, I'll probably put in a machine for making like hay as well, a grass dryer. And then I'll probably have a machine for making TMR. And we can do all that, we could produce all, all the cow food over here, maybe, possibly. Um, 
it's just a pity about that bloody rock. Um, I wonder if I could. Just, uh. Kind of hide it a bit. That kind of works, doesn't it? Uh, I know it's not pretty. We'll just smooth off the edges a little bit and give it a bit of a. You know, let's make it look like it, it belongs. And then we can make it look like. not too bad we'll, we'll 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 live with that looks like the rock is now actually growing out of the uh, landscape rather than just floating in thin air but yeah i'm, I'm going to look forward to doing this leveling project and um getting rid of a bunch of stuff <laughs> but we're going to do that after we've mowed because I want the grass first I want the silage for my um, obviously future profits also means that once the field's been expanded a little bit and it's all level and stuff I can possibly look at getting a different mower for doing that field one that's a little bit bigger than the one I've currently got so Mr. Ho is getting on quite well like I say, I've probably got to do the uh, field edges. Because I'm going to guess he's not doing a great job of that. Uh, well, to be fair, it does look like he's removed the weeds. Okay. Thirty-one's got weeds on it as well. Gonna need to do the rolling on field 31. I'm gonna have to do weeds on 31 next. Uh, okay. Looks like the roller man is doing the last little bit of rolling. not perfect is it but we'll forgive the Massey Ferguson for that I think the fields are coming along nicely though they are coming along very nicely. We're getting the... Uh, the final seeding in for the year.
let me now just finish off the bits that he's missed. It should be easy to spot. <laughs> With the ground texture like this. <sighs> wow. The braking was not great there. No, I think I just need to do the corner, bottom corners because he just does a little bit of a weird move down here. There we go. Feel rolled. Fold him up. But I don't know where I'm going to park the other one. The other big mammoth roller. Might just leave that over near field 30 somewhere. Because that's probably where we're going to be using it. Annoyingly, I've done a little bit of crop destruction on that wheat field. I cut the corner with a trailer and uh, um, with the loading wagon when I was doing grass harvesting. And the um, loading wagon's done the... Um, has done um, crop destruction here. And I think there's probably a little bit down here somewhere as well where I've done a bit of... Where I've been driving like a loony. And I damaged one of the edges. I'm sure I did. Yeah, here. I ended up doing some crop destruction because I was driving like a madman with the loading wagon, taking the grass. So field four is 30, four, 33 is perfect. Uh, field 33 is not looking amazing. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how he goes. It's probably a bit awkward for him, this field. And certainly with this roller. This roller, although it's nice that it's nice and big, and obviously 24 metres is, you know, double the other roller, the fact that it doesn't raise and lower means it's a little bit awkward for the guy using it because he's basically always got it once he's unfolded it it's it's rolling you know But we'll see. We'll see how he goes. I think at this point I've reached the end of today's episode, ladies and gents. When we come back 
for the next episode we'll be getting into the mowing um, we'll try and get like I say we'll be starting my big project on field the um, big the, the big grass field getting that all leveled so we'll we want to get that mowed we want to get that um, collected put into the silage fermenting plant and then I can get the um, get the leveling tool out and then we can get the field ploughed again can't we That's a bit concerning then, because that to me looks like he's on his last row here. And he's got a big chunk of the field that he hasn't done. Uh, I will sort that out. I will. And I need obviously to go and sort out the field with the sunflowers on as well. So yes, I will see you all in the next episode, ladies and gents. Thank you for watching today's episode. I've been C. Waddy. This has been Hout Baylor on here in Farming Simulator 22. Goodbye for now.